hi and uh, welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to exclude a folder from windows defender uh, especially useful if you have installed uh, software like autodesk that suddenly stopped working after a few days sometimes these programs start throwing error messages like the ones uh, on screen uh, this usually happens because uh, windows defender sometimes get uh, a little too aggressive and uh, it blocks files and folders uh, that are actually safe like uh, installers or uh, or development tools so just uh, uh, press uh, windows key and x on your keyboard uh, this will uh, this will open um, this will open the powershell so just uh, click windows key then uh, you will go with the option of uh, terminal admin this will open the powershell uh, let me try to put it on the center then uh, type this command line mp preference then exclusion path then uh, you will just uh, paste the path you want to exclude add mp preference this means you are adding a new rule to microsoft defender uh, mp in this case stands for microsoft protection uh, then uh, exclusion path you are telling the defender which folder to ignore during the periodic uh, scans then uh, the path uh, for example if i want to block a path uh, under c program files uh, autodesk uh, add ODIS, then uh, we go to V1, then setup files. Uh, I can come to the address bar and uh, copy this uh, path. I copy it, then uh, go and paste it on that uh, command line. Remember to add the quotation mark. So remember to replace this uh, folder path with your preferred uh, folder you want to exclude. Uh, once you do that, just press enter. In case you want to confirm uh, if it has been added to the exclusion list, you can just type this command line, get, uh, remember to add the dash there, so get mp preference. Uh, select uh, then expand uh, property exclusion path so this will uh, show a list of all the folders that uh, are uh, currently excluded from windows defender and uh, you should see the folder that we have just added uh, in that list So this is very important because uh, it prevents uh, antivirus interference, especially when installing or running Autodesk and uh, similar tools. Uh, another reason is also it avoids uh, false positive and improve performance uh, during scan. You can see the list there. Uh, the one I've just added is uh, on top of the list. Uh, probably in the future, in case you want to remove this folder from the exclusion list you can just type this uh, command line remove mp preference exclusion path then now uh, you can type uh, or you can paste the path you want to remove from the exclusion list uh, important thing to note is that uh, uh, before you start uh, excluding uh, folders and files uh, keep in mind that uh, only exclude folders for apps you completely trust. Uh, just don't just uh, exclude random folders, it can create security risk. Another thing is that uh, you must be an administrator to run this PowerShell command. Never use this to bypass security for unknown or unverified programs. Always verify the safety of your tool first before you go ahead and uh, carry out these operations. 
so just press enter uh, this will uh, remove this uh, uh, list uh, the folder from the exclusion list uh, also if you want to confirm uh, if it has been removed you can just uh, copy the second uh, command line there and paste it in this uh, next one So that will just run a confirmation that uh, the command line has been uh, has been removed from the list. Uh, not command line, but the folder has been removed from the exclusion list. Uh, you can see it is no longer there. So basically, that's how to do it. Uh, just uh, final thoughts here is that. Uh, before you use this method, just ensure that you follow the installation process and ensure that everything is working perfectly. In case you need a video on how to how to correctly install the Autodesk services, you can watch this video. Uh, the link is uh, shared there. Uh, you can just click and see how the Autodesk services are uh, installed correctly. Once you do that and ensure that everything is working, then you can go ahead and uh, apply this rule to exclude these four files and folders. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye.